so for this tutorial you can use a source yarn or a four yarn um four pie yarn so i will start with a chain of 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and i have my 14 chains then um the third um stitch from the hook we make our first half double crochet in it the the third stitch from the hook we make our first half double crochet and then we make one half double crochet each to get to the end of the row one half double crochet each to get to the end of the row So I got to the last stitch of the row. I make one more half double crochet in the last stitch. One more half double crochet, making two um, half double crochets in the last stitch. I'm making one more half double crochet in the last stitch, making two. We have two in the last stitch. Then I turn to the other side, the next um, stitch, and I make one half double crochet. So we get to the end of the row one half double crochet in each stitch just like this so we get to the end of the row So I've gotten to the end of the row, so I slip stitch to the first stitch that I made, the first um, half double crochet, I slip stitch to it, then I make a chain of two. Oh, sorry, I make a chain of one. No, no, that's a mistake. I should, I should make a chain of, a chain of two, sorry, and then one half double crochet in the same stitch. Then one half double crochet to you get to the end of the row. No increase or decrease. One half double crochet in each stitch to you get to the end of the row. <laughs> So I've gotten to the end of the row. I'm slip stitching to the um then to the, the end of the row I'm making the last um half double crochet then slip stitch to the first um half double crochet stitch to the first stitch. So that's the end of um round two. That's the end of round two. Now I make a chain of two again, half double crochet in the same stitch like that yeah so you make one half double crochet each till you get to the end of the row one half double crochet like the previous no um the previous row no increase no decrease just half 
double crochet in each stitch till you get to the end of the row one each you make one half double crochet each till you get to the end of the row so this is the end of the third row I'm making my last half double crochet then slip stitch to the first half double crochet I'm slip stitch to the first half double crochet and that is the end of my third row so I chain two one two one half double crochet in the stitch one half double crochet again each stitch so in the fourth row is the same thing as the third row where we have one double crochet each to get to the end of the stitch in this row we have no increase no decrease we just make i just make sorry i just make one half double crochet till i get to the end of the row yes i'm done with my fourth um round i'm making the last half double crochet in my fourth um round and slip stitch to the first half double crochet chain one so that is how my fourth round looks like that's um the part that covers the toe the part that covers the toe and it measures about it measured um 3.5 inches so now i'm dividing it with my stitch marker into two i'm dividing it into two I've divided it into two then i'll be making half double crochet till i get to the um to the stitch marker i have one half double crochet till i get to the stitch marker one half double crochet in each stitch till i get to my marker I've got into my stitch marker. I'm removing the marker now. I'm making one half double crochet in the stitch. So now I'm going to chain two. I chain two, one, two, and I turn my work. I make one half double crochet in the first stitch, and I'm making one half double crochet each. One half double crochet each till I get to the end of this row one half double crochet each till I get to the end of the row so I finished my row for me uh, you make you um half double crochets in each um stitches without increase or decrease so you have the total of seven inches this is how mine looks like and i measured it is around seven inches from the toe to where i stopped is seven inches from the toe to where I stop is seven inches. Now that I have my seven inches, this row, the next row is quite different. I make a decrease in the first two stitch. I make a decrease in the first two stitch like that. The yarn overhaul and then one half double crochet to get to the last two stitches where we make another decrease one half double crochet to you get to the last two stitches where we have another where i have another decrease i make another decrease in the last two stitches
So in the last two stitches, I make another um, decrease. I decrease like that. Then put through hole. Make a chain of. I make a chain of two. Again, one, two. Turn my work and one half double crochet till you get to the end of the stitch. In this row, I make no increase, no decrease. Just one half double crochet till you get to the end of the row. No increase, no decrease. One half double crochet each till you get to the end of the row. Now I've gotten to the end of the row. Now to the next row, chain two. The next row is a decrease. I make a decrease in the next row. The first two stitches I decrease and then one half double crochet till I get to the last two. I make another decrease. One half double crochet till I get to the last stitch. You notice that in this pattern. In this next pattern, now I'm making the heel a rule of this deduction and a rule of no deduction. Decrease and followed by a row that does not decrease or increase. So in this row now, I'm in a row of decrease. In the last two stage, I make a decrease. Last two stage, I make a decrease. Yarn over, then um, put through hole. That's the second decrease row. So in this pattern, I already marked where my decrease starts from. So one rule of decrease, another rule of no decrease. That's how it goes. Do you have eight stitch left? Do you have eight stitch left? One rule of decrease, another rule of no decrease. You continue to you have eight stitch left. So I've made my reduction and it remains after my reduction rows I have eight stitch left. So I'm going to make uh, a roll of half double crochet with no increase like this and no decrease on my reduction row, half double crochet, no increase and no decrease. I have eight stitch left. Now that I have eight stitch left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a stitch left now. So the next two will be quite different. I make a chain of two, and then the next two I'll be having an increase in the first stitch. That is one half double crochet, two half double crochets in the first stitch. I'll make an increase in the first stitch, two half double crochets in the first stitch. And one half double crochet. I will suggest you mark your last row because that's the middle. Mark your last row with your stitch marker. Because mark your last row with your stitch marker. So to the last um stitch, I will be making one half double crochet and uh, sorry, two half double crochet to make an increase. Just the opposite of what I did down there. From there we will have an increase and a roll of half double crochet with no increase no decrease the last um set i make was a decrease then a roll of no increase no decrease yeah it's an increase and a roll of one half double crochet in the next um on the increase row so now i'm making my roll of no increase no decrease no um increase no decrease and then making a chain of two again after my no increase no decrease row and then in this row i'll make an increase so you continue like that making an increase at the last and the first stitch and then a row of no increase just one half double crochet each to you have 16 stitch so you have your 16 stitches so yeah i already have my 16 stitches that's my increase row so now i'll make a row of no increase and no decrease my 16 stitch a row of no increase and no decrease so i'm marking my last uh, i'm marking my last row it's important that you mark your last row of increase mark your last row of increase and then now i make a rule of 
no increase no decrease just one half double crochet 16 half double crochet one half double crochet each in each stitch one half double crochet in each stitches till you get to the end of the row So I finish uh, my row and I mark the last increase, the 16 stitches, my last increase. I mark my last increase. So to the next row now, I make, I'm going to make a chain of two to my work and two half double crochets in the first um, stitch, two half double crochets in the first stitch and one half double crochet till you get to the last stitch. Where we make another two half double crochet one half double crochet each to get to the last stitch where we make another two half double crochet so we increase our the size the side i increase in the first stitch and i will increase in the last stitch <laughs> So in the last stitch, I'm making two half double crochet in the last stitch, one, and then the second half double crochet in the last stitch. I make another increase. There's another increase. A chain of two, turn my work, and one half double crochet each. One half double crochet each to get to the end of the row. One half double crochet each to so get to the end of the row. So I've gotten to the end of my row. I'll make another row of no increase, no decrease followed by an increase row in the right in the first stitch and the last stitch so this is my increase row after making um no increase no decrease row of two so this is my increase row i'm going to measure it now and it's around four four um inches so i want my inches to be i want it to be as wide as five inches so now i make a roll of my last row here was increase row so i'll make a roll of no increase no decrease three rows of no increase no decrease and after the three rows of no increase decrease i make an increase row again i'll meet you when i'm done with my three rows of no increase So yeah, I'm done with my three rows of no increase, no decrease. So the next row now is the row of increase. I make a chain of two, one, two, turn my work and two half double crochet in the first stage, two half double crochet in the first stage and one half double crochet to get to the last stage where I make another two half double crochet in the last um, stitch So I've gotten to the end of my increase row and um, this measured about 4.7 inches. Like I said, I want it to be as wide as 5 inches. So now I'll make 3 rows of no increase, no decrease. A 3 row of no increase and no decrease. After the 3 row of no increase, no decrease, I'll make another row of increase. 
till I get my five inches. So now I'm done with the roll of um, no increase, no decrease. Three, three rows of no increase, no decrease. So from now on, we have one half double crochet each in each stitch with no increase, no decrease. So you have 9.5 from the yellow stitch marker that I have on my 9.5. So we continue with the rule of no increase, no decrease. Okay. So you have 9.5 inches from the yellow stitch marker. I'll meet you when I get there. So yeah, this is my result. I have 9.5 inches now from the yellow marker. That's the last 16 stitches that I increase. So from the yellow marker to where I am now is 9.5 inches. So from there, there will be another increase now. Make a chain of two. Your turning chain one, two, and then turn. Then two half double crochets. Sorry, two half double crochet in the first stitch, two half double crochet in the first stitch, and one half double crochet till you get to the end of the row. So to my last stitch, I'm making two half double crochet in the last stitch. Yes. So that's how it looks like. So now I make a chain of two. I make a chain of two on two. Turn my work. And I have one half double crochet in each stitch. No increase, no decrease. One half double crochet in each stitch. No increase or no decrease. So you get to the end of the row. One half double crochet. No increase. No decrease till you get to the end of the row. So yeah, I already make two more um rows of no increase, no decrease. Making three rows of no increase and no decrease. So I make three rows of no increase, no decrease. So to the next row now is an increase row of one half double crochet and sorry, two half double crochet, two half double crochet in the first stitch and two half double crochet in the last stitch. In between, we have one half double crochet each. So you get to the last stitch where we have two half double crochet each. That's the increase row after making three rows of no increase and no decrease. <laughs> stitch i'm making two half double crochet in my last um stitch two half double crochet in my last stitch so now we make three rows of no increase no decrease three rows of no increase no decrease then a row and, and a rule of increase you understand three rows of no increase no decrease then you make an increase row till it is 10 inches wide Three rows of no increase, no decrease, and increase row. To yeah, so now it is 10 inches wide. This is how it looks like.
Yeah, so I sold till I get to the green stitch marker. I continue to sew till I get to the stitch marker for the heel. <laughs> done with the other parts so I did the same thing to the other side I sew till I get to the yellow marker I sew till I get to the yellow marker <laughs> This is how my heel look like so now I'm going to sew my granny square stitch to the body if you want to know how I make my granny square you can leave a comment in this video to share your story sorry a tutorial on how I make my granny square so I'm using my thread and needle to sew my granny square to the body parts I place my granny square Note that you, you sew in the wrong side. You sew in the wrong side, not the right side. You sew in the wrong side. So I placed my granny square and I stitched, um, I sew with a uh, needle and the uh, thread like that. So this is how it looks like after I'm done with my sewing and this is how the final look look like i love how this um socks turn out this is how they use look at the heels there i loved how these socks turn out to be so pretty i love these socks it's so pretty <laughs> So in this part now, the upper side, I want to make the ribbon. So I'll be using um, double crochet for the ribbon and it's a fourth post, back post, double crochet. So firstly, I'll first make a rule of double crochet. Inside my rule, I make a rule of double crochet in each stitch. I'll make a rule of double crochet in each stitch. <laughs> Like I said, I'll be making um, one double crochet in each stitch till I get to the end of the row. 
and my rib is a front post back post double crochet for the real bin so this is how my final look i make um four rows of front post and back post double crochet and then that is how it look like front front post and back post double crochet so this is the final look of my socks and this is beautiful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys this is how my socks look like organic square socks please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you so much for those who have subscribed i say thank you to you god bless you thank you